Hi, welcome back. We'll be touching on subroutines now. Okay, subroutines as mentioned, uh, we have defined many subroutines. Okay, for example, this is a subroutine. This is another subroutine. Okay, sub a subroutine can be defined as a sub. Okay, and then the subroutine name. Okay, arguments that it contains. In this case, it contains no arguments, and then end sub. Okay, so subroutine, uh, or we can call it uh, as methods as well. Okay, it's uh, it's like a single function that we do have to do. Great. Now, so far, all the VBA programs that we have written consist of only one subroutine, which is only one, for example, one, only one, okay? And they are not dependent on each other. However, okay, it's very, it's powerful, okay, and it's possible for a program to interact with subroutines between subroutines. That means subroutines calling another subroutines, okay? And all of this makes it very useful okay now to illustrate that okay i will now you um, click on use sheet 2 and i'll start a new okay now let's say i have a subroutine okay that uh, does addition for me so add okay and yeah and i'm going to implement it now the first thing about a subroutine is that it can contain arguments okay now arguments are things which you pass to the subroutine and you expect it to do something for you for example in this subroutine okay i'll pass in the arguments a okay b and c okay meaning i'll pass in three variables in okay and what i want is in this subroutine add i want um the value of a plus b okay added up and it to be assigned to C. Okay, so passing A, passing B, passing C. Okay, and the value of A plus B will be assigned to C. Okay, now how is this useful? Okay, this is this is nothing uh, very much helpful, right? Okay, but suppose I have another subroutine. Okay, that will have um, taken perhaps I'll call it take in you user input for addition okay and um, yeah that's it okay now suppose I have a over here again again and um, input box okay okay enter first value okay and absolute b input box okay Okay. Now what I can do here is okay, I can instead of coding um, a plus b again. Okay, I can use what I can do is I can use this subroutine to help me calculate the values of a and b. Okay, of course now the formula seems rather simple. It's just addition, but you can imagine if we have more complicated applications and more complicated formulas that we do not want to just recode everything, right? Okay, we just want to use what other subroutine has done. Okay, so how in order to do that, we can do call, okay, call, and then the subroutine name. Okay, in this case, it's add. Okay, add, call add. Okay, and we enter our variables as prompted by the editor as well. Okay, we put in A, put in B, and we put in C. Okay, and now this is how we call a subroutine. So after this, what happens is this statement will be calling this whole subroutine, okay? And the output will be outputted to C, okay? And to prove that, we can do a message box and then um, C, okay? Now, uh, let's try that, okay? Enter first value 10 plus enter value 20 equals 1020, okay? Um, now, firstly, it's a bit weird because 10 plus 20 is not 1020, zero, zero, right? Okay, so uh, the first thing that we have done wrong is that we did not declare them as uh, integers. Okay, so if we do this, in we can play as integer, okay, and a here, and then in b as integer, I believe this should solve the problem. Uh, why not I just do a C as integer as well? Okay, and let's try it again. Um, and then let's put these three things here also. Okay, let's try again. 
Okay, we have too many subroutines now. Okay. Okay. First value. Second value. Oops. De compile a duplicate declaration in current scope. Okay. Um, yes, let's take this away. Because... Uh, okay, because we have declared them already. We don't declare them here. Okay, let's try that again. Oops. Again. Okay, 30, yes, okay. So our program is working well now because we have declared them explicitly as integers. So it previously it was treating them as a string. Okay, remember our variables. Okay. So now back to our original example, it's messaging correctly. Okay, now let's take a look at debug mode and um slowly see what the program does. Okay. First, ask for input. 10. Ask for input again. 20. Okay, now it goes to this line, like call, okay? Now to go into this line, we have to do, instead of step over, we have to do a step into, okay? Because now it's going to a method call. So step into, wait, okay? It, from here, it jumps to here, okay? And then it does the addition, and the sub, it exits out of the method here. And finally, it does the output, okay? 30, all right? So, we have illustrated how from a subroutine you can call another subroutine. Okay, just take note that um, the keyword is call here, where you use call to interact with another subroutine. Okay.